One of the first things I ever learned to cook was this cornflake slice. I would hop into the kitchen with my mum and we would make it together. And I reckon that's what started my cooking career. Now, one of the most important things is you have really good ingredients. And this is a really good butter. It's a French butter. Really creamy, really smooth. It's unsalted and adds a lot of flavour to any dish you make. To that, I'll add some sugar and some golden syrup. Put them in the pot together and stir them around nice and gently till it comes together. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get going with the rest of it. And it starts with some cocoa. Into the bowl you go. And you need a nice large bowl because there's a lot of mixing to go. Some desiccated coconut goes in there. Some plain flour some pistachio nuts, but you could use almonds or walnuts or macadamias or whatever other nuts you've got. And of course, you need plenty of cornflakes. Once you've got them all in there, it's just a matter of mixing it around. And I'm going to do it by hand because this is what I would do as a little boy. You can imagine there'd be cornflakes and flour from one end to the kitchen to the other, but that's the fun of cooking. Once the sugar and the golden syrup have melted with the butter, it's just a matter of pouring it over the top. This is the bit my mother would do because the butter is quite hot and she didn't want my little fingers burning. Now, you mix it around really, really carefully. You want to make sure that everything is incorporated. And you know it's really well mixed when the cornflakes and everything becomes nice and shiny and looks like it's all the same. And once you've got that, which takes about a minute or so, you just need to grab a baking tray like this that's been really really well lined with glad bake and just scrape it all off into the middle. And then with the spatula, you've got to push it all the way down till it's nice and flat. There you go, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to pop this into the oven and let it cook at about 180 degrees Celsius. It'll take about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, when the slice is nicely cooled, it's time to pour some chocolate over the top. And I've melted this chocolate really, really slowly. And it's just a matter of just pouring it over the top nice and evenly. You know it's going to be good when you drizzle chocolate over the top of it. And make sure you get all of it out. And that's why we use one of these spatulas, because it's great for wiping every single bit of the chocolate out of the tray. And also, with the back of the spatula, you just smooth it around the outside all the way to the edges, and that means every single bit will have lots of chocolate on it. Now, normally, we would just let this set overnight or pop it in the fridge so it becomes nice and firm on the top, but I'm just gonna tuck into it straight away so I can get a little taste of it, and I'll show you what it's like. Now, I'll just have a little chip off the corner here because the chef always has to have a taste of what he cooks. Oh, nice and crunchy, the pistachio in there, the coconut, lots of chocolate. You can taste that butter has gone all the way through it and made it really, really delicious. This is a cracker of a slice. I almost think it's better than my mum's, but I won't tell her that.